Hello and welcome to Old Ways Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa. I'd like to welcome you on this extremely cold morning out to my backyard where, yeah, we're going to be working under the carport and we're going to be cleaning um, lemon basil, getting the seeds out, getting those cleaned up and getting those ready to plant this next spring. So let's get out of this cold wind. Even though it's beautiful blue skies and sunny, it's cold, y'all. So let's go under that carport so the wind will be blocked off of us. And let's get busy. See you here in a bit. Okay, it is a whole lot warmer the next day. So... We are doing the lemon basil. These are seed heads that I harvested and saved and let them dry. Like I said, I wait to do this during the winter time. Because one, oh, the smell. It brings back happy memories of when it was growing full throttle now this way this way I'm gonna do it a little different because there's many ways to do it like I said you can just take your time and strip the seed heads off or you can have a really big container and just beat them a lot of times not all the seeds come out doing it this way and there's a good chance later on, when I have free time, whatever that is, I will <laughs> I will come back to and strip all the stems. All right, and these I will put in back into the bag that they come out of. All right, I will show you why. You're not going to get all the seed heads out, all the seeds out of the seed heads just by beating it. Now, you see a few seeds in there, the little black specks. If you roll them around, look how much more the black seeds come out so now warning it is dusty and if you have problem with dust just you can put a mask on or do it on a windy day bird feather on a windy day where the dust will blow away from you. Just beat the daylights out of them. You know, if you're angry about something, it's a therapy. Just beat the daylights out of them. And like I said, not all the seeds are going to come out. See, I stripped that. See how many seeds were still in there? All those little black specks. And you don't want to waste any seed if possible. Alright, I'm going to keep on till I finish this batch and I'll bring y'all back. Okay, I finished up with that, got them back in the bag. I know for a fact I'm going to have to go back through them. But in here is a whole lot of lemon basil seeds. Okay, now we go back to using the screen method. You want to make sure... You have a wide container underneath. Now 
Now, basil flowers, the dried basil flowers here, are notorious for not wanting to give up their seeds easily. So this is why I like to use a screen. You want to work it really good. Not a whole lot of pressure, but enough pressure to break those seed pods up. What used to be the flowers. Let me tell you, aromatherapy, like no tomorrow. I love lemon basil. Oh no, there's still seeds all in there. This is why I look forward to eventually, one day, I will have that wonderful seed-saving screen set from Strictly Medicinal. You ought to go check it out and just see how pretty they are. And it helps you save big seeds all the way down to tiny tiny seeds the ones are called the dust seeds now when you can put them in your hand and see no seeds then you know you have gotten them And you probably can't see, but down in the bottom, you see all those little black specks? That's basil seeds. Lemon basil seeds. And it is best to do the screen method because you know for a fact you get them all. And the stripping of the stems. All right, I'm going to keep... I'm going to do one more round to show you. You want to put it can take a while but you want to put enough that it doesn't spread out too far from what you're working on and as you can see the dust coming up Oh, but the smell, the smell is worth it. And this way, you know where your seeds come from. You know how they were grown. If you garden, you should be saving your seeds. Because it will not only save money, but you don't have to worry where those seeds come from. Seed savings not always this labor intensive, but it's worth every second of it. Now, you can wear gloves if you need to. And 
And this is just spawn window. It's a window screen that I recycled. And I see no seeds in that. And I see no seeds in this. So this batch is done. And I see a whole lot more little black seeds down in the bucket. And I will bring you back as soon as I am done with doing the rest of them. Okay. I have that finished. I have the little pile of dust and mixed basil seeds. And down here, you can see a lot of the black specks. That's basil seeds. Now, these reddish or brown seeds, those seeds are not ripe seeds. You want to save the black seeds of the basil now a lot of people might not know what the cookie sheet method is i learned this one thanks to my dear friend from the botanic garden and what you do is you take a credit card that's no good which they're not any good to have anyway but an old credit card piece of cardboard and what you're going to do is scoop up and let it fall. As you see, well, hopefully you can see, the little black basil seeds will roll down. Some of the flower heads that fell through will roll down too, but that's perfectly fine. Now, the fun part is figuring out the correct angle to use because basil seeds bounce very well. Let me tell you, there is just bukus of seeds all in what I call the this dust, and you want to get them out. The hawk has come to visit. And what you're going to do is just keep on working the seeds. You just got to figure out what the perfect angle is for you. Because you want what you're trying to do is just get the basil seeds down. And as you can see, I have bukus of lemon basil seeds so far. Sometimes they want to roll down like they're supposed to. Sometimes they don't. You just have to continue to work on it. Now you do not want to do it on a really breezy day. Because basil seeds will fly with the breeze very well. Alright, I will bring you back as soon as 
I get most of the seeds out of this dust. Now, there's a good chance that I'm just going to pour this back into the bag because I know there is plenty more seeds left in those flower heads on the lemon basil. It's just a steady work in progress. All right, I will bring you back later on. Okay, I am done for now. See all of those little black dots. Each one, the black ones, not the brown or the red looking ones, but all of these little black dots is one potential lemon basil plant. Now, the rest of the plant dust and stuff that I had up here, I put it back in the bag because there are still more seeds in it. And I'm going to go back through and clean the stems and everything because there's more, plenty more seeds in there. So, look at all of those potential lemon basil seeds. Or potential lemon basil plants. Now you have to be careful because basil seeds will bounce. And I don't want to lose them after working so hard. Back into the bucket they go. And from the bucket into my jar. Good. I got rid of a bunch more dust. Now, if I can ever find my mesh strainers, I will sip this even better. But that gives you some perspective of just how many basil seeds there are. You have to look past the dust. There we go. There's a better view. See them. Put your lid on. And of course, if you uh, know anybody or yourself that are on prescription meds, save your, your pill bottles. Because these pill bottles are really good. Once you wash them out, please wash them out very well. With a little bleach and hot soapy water, let them dry completely, and you can store your seeds in them. I'm going to use a jar because I know I'm going to have more seeds. Write what the seeds are. Now, personally, I can open the jar, smell in there, and know exactly what's in there. But still, put lemon basil or whatever basil that you'll be working with and uh, the year. You don't have to worry about the month, but the year that they were grown. And just think, this is only the beginning. There are thousands and thousands more to come. Simple, easy, and yes, you can do it. If you can grow one basil plant, that will keep you in plenty of seeds for years. And you just keep harvesting every year. Renew your seeds. You'll know where your seeds come from that way. You'll know what you used and what you didn't use, which you're trying to avoid. You can do this. Anybody can do it. If I can, you can too. Save your seeds from everything possible. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. 
everyone please stay safe and sound this world's getting crazier day by day continue to stock up your pantry with foods that will sustain and nourish you medicinal plants and seasonings you want to stock up on your seasonings and medicinal plants that will heal you protection of all kinds and the bare necessities to survive on i look forward to seeing you in my next video and may you each be blessed hoot hoot y'all take care